Hey guys, this is Wyatt with Marine Outdoors. Um, and as you guys know, we are battling the uh, bear ban here in California. That is a very large um, thing we are battling right now and everybody else pretty much across the United States. Um, there's a war on hunting. There's a war on sportsmen. Uh, we all know this by now. And as we're fighting that, we need to understand that our fight will never end. And there's larger things that are we are going to be uh, coming up against. And if, sooner or later, um, sportsmen, hunters, fishermen, we are going to be taking on Wall Street here. Um, and I'm going to show you why. So as you see here, I have a page up for, uh, for uh, natural asset companies. Um, so a natural asset company uh, is very simple. And it's pretty much trying to monetize um, natural resources in a little bit of a different way. As of now, the way we monetize natural resources is we mine them, um, we cut down trees, we you know whatever we have to do, some type of process of extracting resources from the earth, um, and then we we go ahead and sell them. But what they're talking about more is like large swaths of land. So pretty much with Wall Street, the way Wall Street works, um, I so just so you know, I'm not just you know, into hunting and fishing. I had a financial channel way back when, when I was younger. Um, and I, I'm, I've always been really into business, stocks, stuff like that. So this kind of comes naturally. And when I saw this, I got, I got really scared as a hunter and a fisherman because I know the power of Wall Street. Um, you know, I've seen it. I've made lots of money from it, just like everybody else. I've lost lots of money, lots of money from it. Um, all this stuff. I mean, there was a time and a place that I was actually planning to open an asset management company. So, you know, two different worlds of me. But when I saw this, like I said, I got, I got pretty scared. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to take large swaths of land, let's say a natural park or something like that, and then they'll put a corporate governing board, um, you know, controlling the operations of that park. And then they will pretty much sit there and ask themselves, how do we drain every dollar that we can um, from this uh, park, resource, swath of land, whatever. The sole mission of this um, board will be to make this land profitable. And the way they are framing it is to help save um, land and wildlife and all that stuff but if you don't have your head in your ass and you don't drink the Kool-Aid you know there's only one thing that Wall Street loves and that is money and that never coincides well with wildlife and the preservation of the earth it just doesn't like I said I'm a businessman but I'm more a hunter and fisherman um, if I did not have to do construction for a living um, you know, I have a saying, sometimes I wish the destruction of the earth wasn't so beautiful because when I'm doing tile and I'm doing stone and I'm doing like these crazy nice kitchens and everything, those are natural resources that we have taken from the earth and changed them to how we see fit. And it comes out beautiful, but you realize how many trees were cut down, how much stone was mined, how much, all this stuff, um, that was taken from the earth that you know, is finite. So their job, we'll get back on track here, their job is to make as much money as possible from the swath of land. And what they're going after is um, they're going to go after stuff like marine preserves, uh, the Sonoma Napa Marsh that I duck hunt. They're not just going to go after these um, private land things because that's why they're opening this thing called the NAC or a natural asset company, so they can convince the government to privatize public lands. Just like they got the Bush administration to allow uh, oil drilling and natural gas drilling on public lands, which was never done before. And I know some people are already thinking that I'm crazy, but like I, well, you have to realize, when you have immersed yourself uh, with these business people, with these People who have so much fucking money, it's ridiculous. And the things that they do, the things that they do, you don't even think that would help make you money or would make you money. I mean, just they're in a different kind of world. And so 
there's nothing that will stop them. You can always bribe people. You can always get people taken out of positions. You can always get you know people fired. You can always bend someone to do what you need to do. Um, I had a mentor a long time ago, and up the street from him was a huge retirement home in a very wealthy neighborhood. And at one time, it was illegal to build a structure as large as he built, the owner of the retirement home. But, again, he has connections in the city. He knows what he has to do to get things done. And this man was able to build this retirement home. Um, you know, was able to change laws to get what he was building legal so that he can make money. There's nothing that's going to stop these people. Um, so right on the page, let's just go read this. To address the large and complex challenges of climate change. See how they're framing it? And the transition to a more sta uh, sustainable economy. Again, it's good for you. We're not going to take your land and drain every dollar and precious resource from it and destroy it. No, 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 no. We're here to transition to a more sustainable economy and help with climate change. The New York Stock Exchange and Intrinsic Exchange Group are pioneering a new asset class based on nature and the benefits that nature provides, termed ecosystem services. NAX will capture the intrinsic and productive value of nature and uh, provide a store of value based on the vital assets that underpin our entire economy and make life on Earth possible. Example, examples of natural assets that could benefit from NAX structure include natural landscapes such as forests, wetlands, and coral reefs, as well as working lands such as farms. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to control all assets, um, natural assets that we um, need to live. They want to control the water. They want to control the wood. They want to control uh, the fish consumption. They want to control everything. And the way this will roll out is, say, remember that thing called 30 by 30? I'm going to show you a connection as 30 by 30 is kind of a probe for these natural asset companies um, that will be coming into the future. And what they will do is they will take some place, that 30 by 30, which is run by um, NRDC, which is the natural resource. Oh, God, what is it? You know, all these websites have cookies. Um, natural Resource Defense uh, Council, I believe. So. Here is their little, you know, charity thing, um, all this stuff, you know, give to NRDC. Let's go to their homepage here if we can, or let's just go to About Us. And these are the people who are pushing 30 by 30. Um, and if you go and you look at what they're doing and their issues, I mean, they're just pretty much a bare, um, you know, government-funded um, nonprofit charity. I'm still going through on where these uh, monies are, money is coming from, but you know they're environmental lawyers and stuff like that. But most of their stuff, like when you go to say get involved, like look, they're just trying to pass the Build Back Better Act. Um, you know, tell the EPA. You know, just these little action items, uh, pretty generic, nothing, nothing too crazy, right? And the Biden administration last year, as you can see from these amount of articles, it was very, very um, interested in 30 by 30 and expanding this conser uh, conservation plan that they say is a conservation plan. But truly, it is a front for natural asset companies to come in and start taking control of marine sanctuaries, wetlands, because they are going to come to the state of California. They're going to go to the state of Arizona. They're going to go to the state of Washington. They're going to go across the United States. They're going to go to the federal government. They're going to go to the uh, na uh, national forest. And they're going to say a big sales pitch on how natural asset companies can lift the burden from them. They just get a check, and the natural asset companies run everything for them. That is what the sale pitch is going to be. And I know this is kind of... This is out in a few years, and right now it sounds far-fetched and stuff, and you can say what you want about me. Uh, people who follow me and, and, and talk shit to me, say whatever you want. But you cannot deny that the last few years I have been correct on what is happening in our wildlife laws. You cannot deny that. I have been screaming about it for years. 
they are coming to take our hunting, our fishing, and our public access to our lands from us. There is no doubt in my mind. And so these are the bigger pictures that we need to be seeing. When this bear bill gets beat in every state, <clears throat> our job is not done. It is not close to done. Because we have people coming for our rights that have way more resources and way more power. And they are good at shutting people down. Some of these people take out entire countries. So they will, they will eat us for breakfast if we don't stand together and take our head out of our ass. Because this is what's coming next. And if you think it's crazy, like I said, we, before the Bush administration, we never allowed natural resources to be taken from our public land. But we allowed oil companies and natural gas companies to come and drill there. And you can, you know, love oil companies, hate oil companies. I don't give a shit. But you cannot, you have to see that the U.S. government does not have your rights in their mind and what they care about is money. So they will allow these natural asset companies to come in and take what they want because the government's going to get a check from it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, check this out more. I'm going to keep up on it. I'm going to go into NRDC and um, see what's up with uh, where their money's coming from and stuff like that. But like I said, I truly believe 30 by 30 is a feeler um, that's being funded and pushed by the by the administration, by Wall Street, people with, uh, you know, monetary interest. And they are pushing it so that these natural asset companies can come in and find the best uh, resources and exploit that are going to give them the most profit. That's what they're doing. That's the name of the game. So anyways, guys, thanks a lot. Stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.